In today's video, I'm gonna show you two of the most unique generators in the world that you've probably never seen before. Now I say that because these things are the kind of generator you use to generate power anywhere and at any time. But these are not the little devices you might remember as a kid. They really serve an actual purpose and they might give you some power when you really need it the most. Our first generator is the smaller of the two. It's the KTOR Pocket Socket and it's designed for charging USB devices up to one amp. Now the first surprise is this is actually made in the USA. As soon as I unbox this, I could tell it's well made and it weighs in at just under a pound. It's really compact and this design is super clever. They've actually integrated a flip out handle into the lever itself. And it's easy to use, you basically just spin the lever and as you rotate it, you're gonna crank electricity out of that USB port. There's a lot of cheap versions of these out there that are made in other countries and they're nothing like this one at all. This can charge up an iPhone, an iPad, flashlights, even double and triple A rechargeable batteries. And if you wanna take this on a trip, this cable is perfect because on one end is a regular USB plug, but there you've got USB-C, Apple Lightning, and then a micro USB. You plug in the device, put the other end in the USB port and start cranking, but you don't wanna go too fast. You're supposed to do it about two times per second, and that just feels like kind of a steady pace. Now your hand might get tired. Unfortunately, they included this strap in the box. It's simple, but it works. You just put it around your hand and the device. Now you don't have to grip it anymore. You just kind of balance it with your left hand and crank the handle with your right. Now in terms of how much power you're gonna get out, that really depends on the type of device you have and how fast you're cranking within that couple of times a second. For my test, I connected it to my iPad and I cranked it for just about a minute and I gained 1% on the battery meter. Now that might not sound like a lot, but if you're in the middle of a crisis or you have no power and you're out in the middle of nowhere, this thing could be an absolute lifesaver. Now the pocket socket's good, but it still is small and it might not be big enough for what you need. So fortunately, there's another option. And this is the biggest one they make. It's the KTOR Powerbox 50. 50 means 50 watts, but it's also capable of putting about three amps of power out. That's a lot of power from something that you actually are cranking with your hands or your feet. And this model comes partially unassembled, but it's not hard to put together. You don't need any other tools. The only thing you need is an Allen wrench and they actually include that in the box. The reason they break it down like this is because a lot of people might be packing this for a trip or shipping it somewhere else. But once you get it together, you don't really ever have to take it apart again. Together, this looks more like a piece of exercise equipment and in a way it kind of is because you're gonna generate the power yourself. But pedaling this is a lot easier than you would think. Now this is much more of a universal style model because it doesn't have a USB plug. It actually has a cigarette style outlet. And with this, you can really do anything. If you wanna charge computer devices, you can just get a simple adapter, plug it in the outlet, and now you've got two USB plugs. And if you have kids, this can be a surprising thing for them to use. Kira just started pedaling. She had no problems at all. She wasn't even wearing shoes, which is not the right way to do it. But you can see that there's really not a lot of effort involved while you're pedaling it, but it's still better to get some exercise than none at all. This is just a 12 volt fan. And you can see the minute I start running those pedals, the fan turns on and it is a regulated outlet. So even if your pedal speed changes a little bit, you are gonna get pretty stable power coming out. But of course, the minute you stop pedaling, anything you're powering is gonna stop. And because of the size of this unit, you can even charge up batteries. Now it's designed to do deep cycle type, but I only have my lawnmower battery and I wanted to put it to the test. Now when I measured the voltage coming off of the battery, I was getting about 11.85 volts. And hooking it up to charge your battery is really easy. You just plug in the cigarette plug, and on the other end you've got these two alligator clips, and they include this cable in the box. Now once you've got everything connected, you just need to find a place to put the unit down. But the way it's designed, it really doesn't do well on a real smooth surface. So what I found was you'll want to put down a piece of carpet, or in my case I had this rubber mat, and I started pedaling. And after three minutes, I checked the voltage on the battery again, and it had gone up just about a tenth of a volt. And while that isn't much, if you kept at it, you definitely could charge the battery up. And now I wanted to see if this pedal unit could actually charge one of these jackeries. Now this is a 300 watt model, and I'm using the car charger, and I plugged it right into the pedal generator and started pedaling. And the input gauge showed me getting between about 20 and 40 watts. So this thing worked pretty well, and with enough time, you could charge the jackery up. So overall, I was really impressed with these. I love that they're made in the USA. The build quality is good. And while they're not for everyone, they're perfect for somebody that wants a reliable power source when there really are no other options. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos coming up.